I would do it guys, the ACV and auto electric saying I so yesterday I was at home feeling a wee bit sorry for myself. You saw that terrible video I put up yesterday. Just trying to explain the job that I was coming to today. Uh plan the job before I come out to it. Um and the job's actually turned out a lot better than even what I thought at home. The reason for that, the customer's actually got his own batteries in and they're perfect, the perfect fit, they, they go in well, uh they've got uh, special terminals on them so I'm not having to use uh, like big battery, ugly battery clamps as well. So all I had to do was make my own link leads between the batteries. Because if you remember, we were connecting these batteries on these leisure batteries onto this uh, three kilowatt inverter that I've installed. And what this job is, it's a it's a double decker bus. It's going to be used as a kids' play bus. So upstairs they're kitting it out at the moment with loads and loads of lights, loads of lights. There's a stereo system and everything going up there. Um, so what he's wanting is the maximum run time and instead of going and buy a bank of 10 batteries we've started off with 6 and we'll see how that goes so I've done a bench test on here um, I'll show you, I'll actually show you I'll show you what it looks like, just pause this ok so if we look inside there you can see we've got the bank of 6 batteries see that and if you remember what I said when we're connecting these batteries you come into the positive, through, out the negative, and what that gives you is 24 volts. And then you link this battery to this battery, which you can see, there's your link lead, and then you link this battery to this battery. So that gives us three banks of batteries, all six batteries powered to get linked together like this is only giving us 24 volts, but it's given us three times the, the power or the capacity sorry on your inverter here so we'll plug the extension lead in upstairs there uh, and the RCD is actually quite a good feature because if there is an issue on any of those extension leads any of the lighting any of the stuff up the stairs um, there's kiddies running about up there that's going to trip that there is going to trip immediately uh, fast acting and it will cut, it'll cut the power off to the whole inverter everything will switch off um, on our inverter, it'll cycle through, if you can see that. So it's cycling through our power upstairs at the moment, the pool. So sorry, it's just cycling through. It's 20, 25 and a half volts in the batteries there. I've just boiled a kettle on that. 224 volt output. The power. 250, 250 watts it's pulling up the stairs with all those lights on which is really good I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that there but we have left space in here uh, to put two more batteries in and then of course we've got all this space down here as well now some people might be thinking well why on earth are you buying all them batteries and buying it like he, he doesn't want to put a noisy generator on the outside uh, he doesn't want to have the bus sitting running as well these batteries are a deep cycle they're a deep cycle battery and dr admittedly driving this bus from Belfast back to the depot is not going to be enough to charge those six batteries. I have however put them onto a split charge relay. If you remember we spoke about the split charge relay. So I'm just wiring that circuit in at the moment. But these are going to have to go on charge overnight or over a weekend. Or when this bus is parked up all these batteries will have to be put onto a charge. So it's just your normal charger. Put it on the negative post, the positive post, 24 volt charger and that'll give that a good charge. So that's the job. Turn on, I'll flip this around. That's the job. Now, we wee bit messy there at the back, I must admit. Uh, I've got my split charge relay screwed down to the back corner there. My mega fuse here, it, they're sort of tied up, and the reason for that is we, we want to be able to pull this inverter out. We want to be able to pull it out um, in case we do need to mount it up onto the, the bulkhead here and put an extra two batteries in so that's the reason we've left that little bit of room in there that's the job that's what i was trying to draw i'll get better honestly i'll try my best all right guys i hope you found that useful i actually really really enjoy doing this here because it is the first time i've been asked the it's been mentioned before um your leisure battery um but then I always say stick as many in as you can afford.
you know, I never actually thought this man would do it, and he has. He's just went and bought six of these. And remember, what these have got this little terminal on here, but then you've got your battery post in there. We're not even using them. So that's saved this buying a couple of boxes of the, the clamps with the studs on them. So, all right, good job. If you have any questions on this here, I'll be happy to help you guys. Um, I've got, like I said, those inverters. I've got quite a few more coming in. Um, and that's the five um, that I got in there all gone now. But there's more coming, so don't worry. Thanks, guys. See you later.